got a redstone magic tutorial for you. Um, it's my piston gate version 2.1. Version 2.1, the only thing different is it uses no repeaters up here for powering the pistons except for these two. All those are for is for timing. Um, it's faster than the original version, version which was that one and it's a lot smaller and uses less resources um... it has two mono sable circuits and a t-flip flop so you can have as many buttons as you want you can have a button on the outside a button on the inside and you can have a button like up, up in a different room in case you like want to close it when a di when you're like on a balcony or something, um, it's a lot a lot easier to hide it now since it's only too wide, and six high actually seven because the redstone it's only seven high on the top now so you don't have to have a big giant room on the top of your gate anymore. Used to be like that. Haven't changed that one yet. Um, yeah, let's get started building it. Okay, we'll start off by laying the pistons. You're going to need 16 sticky pistons and 24 regular pistons. That is 5, 6, oops, 7, 8. And then you need to make another layer and then a third layer of regular. You're going to want to place your gravel. layers of gravel and then you're going to want to make a platform where you can stand on and then you're going to want to make is four high and four high. Then we'll get on to some wiring, lay repeaters on no delay all across here, then some redstone behind it, um, then to no, actually no dust, just a dust there, there, and then four on this one, two on this one, none on that one, two there, um, get my green out, and that, then we need to make a mono stable circuit, set this one to two, Finish that off with a torch, add a repeater there, go across here with some dust, put some wool up here, oops, and some dust. here. Oh wait, no. None there. Need some over here. Okay. Two and four. Two and four. And then set one there to three. 
put a block there and then three blocks behind it. Set this first one to four. Set the second one to three. Add some dust. Finish that off over there. Add repeaters all the way across. Make sure that's right. Then we need to add another layer up here. This one's probably the easiest because it just goes off the bottom layers. Just get power from there. That's it for the top. There's the wiring for the bottom. Now we want to make a stack. Not sure how high yet. And then carve out every other one. Place torches. Add a repeater and a piece of dust and make another monostable circuit. Set the, um, this one to four. Dust. Block torch. Now we need to invert the signal so the top side is opposite from the bottom side. And we do that by put, placing a block here, adding a torch there, and placing a repeater there. And the we'll go up here and finish off the top. We'll add... We don't need any more sticky pistons. Um, that is one, two, three, four. We'll add another layer. And then some... Just something to place stuff on. We'll make a little small tower there. And then arrow us pistons and then that should be down for it. okay another row get some more cobblestone out and our last row of pistons Total of twenty four and thirty two regular pistons and sixteen sticky pistons. And get rid of this cobblestone. We want to come off of this one, place a block above it, add some dust, and this one is set to 4. This is just a visual bug that doesn't actually power that block. You can place something over it if you want to, to take the visual bug away, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't need to be there. is two cost here get some more dust out and some more wool wow the stack was just high enough we don't need that torch because we want it inverted we want it the same all the way across this one doesn't need any delay and that's the top um, last thing we need to do, uh, you can actually, if 
you want to. You don't have to do this last part. You can add a switch. Oh, there. I forgot to add this stuff here. I'll bring this down. Something's wrong. Four, three, three, two, four, six, one. Hmm. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, don't forget that. Okay. Yeah, you can just use a lever. Okay. I'll place the fences so you can show you. cover that up you don't have to it's just for visual from below so you don't see anything you can use a lever which that was down this is up down up down but if you want multiple inputs, you have to make a T flip flop. A T flip flop is just a fancy circuit for um, making it so you can have multiple buttons. It makes a button act like a lever. Set those to no delay. We need a piston here, and a piston here, and we need a block, and then blocks across the top. Then we need some, that's not redstone. We need some dust across the top, and a piece of dust there and there. And we need a spot for a button. We don't want that to cross, so we uncross that, uncross that. Then we add that redstone there, so that does not go into that block, powering that redstone. Then we add a button here, and we add a torch underneath. And you have a T-flip button. Piston gate. This is version 2.1. Um, I got a lot of requests to make a video for that version and version 2.0. And I, I'm sorry it took so long, but I was doing other things and I couldn't make the video at that time. But I hope this video helps you and. See ya.